Uh, hello everyone. I hope everyone is safe. Everyone is doing well. And in this video, we are going to see how we can, uh, you know, draw this interactive graphs with Plotly. And uh, we'll see the example of how we can draw this comparison graph across, you know, different performance parameters. So for this uh, explain this video, I have taken two examples. One is comparison of three different metrics like uh, accuracy, precision recall across four different models. And then I have taken another example of comparison of performance of different models across different hardware devices. OK, so these are very interesting way to draw graphs, especially when uh, you want to show to somebody you want to present it. It's much easier to explain and, you know, there are you know, you can switch on and switch off uh, different aspects. So uh, let's see the code. Let's get started. Um, so this is the notebook and uh, the code is also provided here on the in the GitHub. So under useful scripts for handling data. So you can just download and follow along. Uh, and I have said, you know, I have two mock data. So both the data are in CSV file. One is performance hardware.csv, another is performance models.csv. So let's get started. For this, you need Plotly, and you can easily install it using pip install Plotly. And then let's uh, import the Plotly library. And then we'll read first the performance models.csv and we'll see what models are there. So there are four models and uh, I'm, you know, plotting three metrics like accuracy, precision and recall. So I will take that. So here I'm loading from CSV file. You can even manually input it or you can have some other for file format. Just that we need to have the data and we can see, you know, the scores or uh, the accuracy score of the uh, four different models and the precision and the recall. Now to plot this figure, first you will initialize a uh, Go dot figure object named as fig, and then in this fig we'll add traces, you know, one by one. And those traces, those traces will be the lines, you know, like for example, this is the accuracy line, then the precision line, and then the recall line. So we are doing a scatter plot, and the x-axis is the models, like this models, and the y-axis is the metric that we want to compare. For example, the accuracies. Then we can give the name, we can give the parameters for the line, the color, width, uh, and so on. Then similarly, we can add another trace for precision, another trace for recall, and then we can, you know, uh, put the title X axis and so on. And you simply run this and you'll see a figure uh, which is drawn in the cell. And then you can see, you know, uh, for example, the green line is the uh, precision line. So for the different model like ResNet 50 is 0 0.77 for efficient, it's 90. Uh, so this is nice, but there's a better way like, you know, how can we see in a much enlarged way and uh, Plotly provide this uh, HTML format. So if you run the code in uh, like you run this this line where you give the model performance to HTML and you run this, then automatically uh, HTML opens for you and also an HTML file gets saved for you, which you can, you know, use it later in a offline mode. And you can see the same graph, but it's looking much nice, much clean. And you can then hover over and you can see, you know, we can see that, for example, for the recall, uh, the efficient at B1 is the best. And for the precision, the efficient at B0 is the best. And so this is uh, one way. And also one more thing that you can do is you can also save it as a PNG file. So and you will see that a PNG has sa been saved for you. OK, uh, yeah, perfect. So and one more thing is uh, you can also add text over here. So here we are easily hovering, so we don't need to. But suppose you are saving it as an image file, then we can add text also. And for that, you know, you have to simply um, do this that in the parameters, you have to put this mode as along with lines and markers, which is being shown. You also want to see the text. And what text you want to see, say, for example, the matrix, which is the accuracy and you can set the text position. So if I run this and let's see it in the bigger. So you'll see that now you can also see the text uh, on above the graph. OK, so it's good if you have less number of lines, but if it's more then it will get messy. So it's better that we don't write it. But yeah, there is an option that you can do it. And then there is another with plotly dot offline. It does the same thing. So, yeah, 
it will, it will draw the same graph and yeah here you can do this auto open true or false so if you make this auto open as false then you know uh, it will write in as a model performance at html but it will not open so yeah this you can change it so now let's see the another example we'll see the hardware so there are there are a lot more data here and let's run this file and here I am um, seeing what are the devices. So I have this laptop CPU, one HPC CPU, Edge device CPU, HDVI CPU in Docker and, and so on. So this is just for example, you can adapt it for your code. And now, you know, for uh, the, the devices will be on the X axis. So we'll let it be. But for the Y axis, we need the data and uh, we have multiple models, you know. So for every model, then we'll take the specific metric. So this is, for example, for ResNet 18, the throughput, ResNet 18 latency. Then say model ensemble ResNet 18 throughput, then efficient throughput, efficient latency. So we'll simply read the data. It's already in this CSV file. And you know, as many lines we need, we need to add that many traces. So here we have uh, around, you know, what uh, eight traces. So we have eight, you know, uh, yeah, eight lines. So we have eight traces and then we'll simply run this. And then you can see, you know, across different hardwares, what is the performance of different models? Okay. Now, suppose you just, you can switch others off. Say we just want to see the ResNet 18. So the ResNet 18 throughput is, you know, this, but the scale of, uh, you know, the latency is different from the throughput. So you can maybe just switch this off and then, yeah, it scales gets automatically adjusted. And we can see the latency is the lowest for the ResNet. For the ResNet, the latency is lowest in the HPC one. And then again, for the ResNet, the throughput is highest for the HPC one. Similarly, uh, we can see for the other models, say the efficient net, uh, you know, what is the performance. And so, yeah, I, that's it. That's it. Like, uh, it's pretty easy. And I hope, uh, yeah, you learn something with this and the code is already available. So you can try out for your metric and it's much nicer to present in this way, the comparative graphs. So that's all. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something interesting. And if you didn't know about it, but I, if you know, then it's good. And until then, uh, keep learning and uh, keep exploring neurons. Bye.